Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. This amazing prophetic world title says, this is a new beginning for you. Hallelujah. I think this again, this is a new beginning for you. I'm led by the Spirit of God to, to record this amazing prophetic world and pray together with someone, whether you're watching or commenting, in the name of Jesus. Uh, today is uh, the third day of our, of our fasting and prayers. I heard this word loud and clear. The Lord says, a new beginning for someone. The Lord says, I am making a way for you in the wilderness. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Praise Master Jesus. If you're coming across this amazing YouTube channel, God bless you. It's not by accident that you're here. God made it possible for you to be here. Believe God for an encounter. Believe God for the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen. Please make sure you're subscribing to become part of this family. In the name of Jesus. I don't know whether you're watching or connecting, but this is a new beginning. Hallelujah. This is not just a prophetic word. We are going to practicalize what God asks me to do. Hallelujah. Wherever you're, you're watching, if you have your anointing oil, please you can get the anointing oil. Hallelujah. If you are not at home, you can just subscribe. Praise Master Jesus. We will save this video. Hallelujah. So that whenever you're back, whenever you're alone, we want you to, hallelujah, take your time and follow this particular prophetic instruction. Hallelujah. This is a new moment. I don't know the date or the time of which maybe you come across this amazing prophetic word. The word of God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow are still the same. So this amazing prophetic word is from God to you. It remains the same today. If you come across this video tomorrow, I want you to stand and believe. Activate your belief system. If you come across tomorrow, activate your belief system. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. So, the Lord gave me this particular prophetic word. I saw a group of people whereby the Lord poured oil on the ground and the Lord asked them to move. That this is a, a new beginning. These were people that have struggled for so many years. These, these were people that have been tied and blocked by some powers. And the Lord says, it's a new beginning, they should move. So I saw a group of people going out. Then their way was smooth. They were happy and rejoicing. So I saw the oil. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 23, remember that, that, that thou shalt prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, and thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, as I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Surely your goodness and mercy, not you. So if you have noticed that you are the one running after good things, there is a problem. According to, to biblical command, those things are meant to follow you, not you to follow those things in the mighty name of Jesus. So you are going to get your anointing oil and you are going to follow what we are going to do together in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know you might be looking at me, you're saying, man of God, my life has been from one mess to the other, one problem to the other, one difficult moment to the other. I was rejected by my family. I was rejected by my husband. The man that promised to marry me reject me. The woman that promised to marry me reject me. My life has been from one mess, from one failure to the other. I know you're thinking of one way or the other. But listen to me, people of God, there is a hope for a living dog than a dead lion. Hallelujah. When we look in the book of 1 Samuel, the story of, of David, the Bible says when Samuel went to anoint David as king, Samuel, the Lord asked Samuel, fill your horn with oil. When Samuel looked at Jesus as the first son of Jesse, he thought that this is the one. But God said, forget. I do not look at the outward appearance, I look at the heart. He poured the oil, the, the oil never came down. The second born came, he poured the oil. All the sons of Jesse passed. Samuel was doubting himself, am I not a prophet? Like, you know that type of a thing in life that you have been accurate with your words, with your things, you are confident with what you are doing. Like, just assuming you are, you, 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 you are a technician and there is a particular part to install somewhere, you have been doing it every day and it has been working on well, but you went somewhere, you do it and it does not work. Like, it would be so strange because it has never happened. That was how some of you, some of you I'm a prophet of God. I have, I have accurate prophecy. I've been hearing God's word. What happened? Does it mean that I didn't hear God's word? Someone asked Jesse, "Is this all your son?" Jesse addressed David as this one small boy. 
There is one small boy. It does not matter the name the world call you. It does not matter how the world see you. Though they call you small boy or small girl, listen to me. It does not matter. Your time has come. Do not look at yourself and criticize and talk down yourself. You're saying, Pastor, I'm that small boy, I'm that small girl. People say nothing good shall come out for me. Listen to me. Don't allow anybody to talk you down. Talk yourself to the position you want yourself to be. The Bible says when, when David came, or, or Samuel said, we are not going to stand here and wait for him. We are not going to sit here. We are going to stand until he comes. When your time comes, listen to me. Even your enemies will pray for you not to not to die. When your time comes, even your enemy will be the one to contribute for your success in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm led by the Spirit of God for us to anoint ourselves for the next seven days. This is what we are going to do. If you're watching me, if you don't have have your anointing oil, you are going to post this amazing prophetic word. You can post it or after watching it, you can play it again for the second time. Take your anointing oil. You are going to follow this instruction in the name of Jesus. You are going to lift it up above your head. Let it go above your head. If I lift it above my head, the, the, the people will not see me. So I'm just going to place it like this. The Bible says when the hands of Moses was lifted up on the mountain, God gave victory. As you lift up your hands and the oil, this is a sign of surrender. You're telling God, this is all me, Lord. I surrender everything. And I pray that let that oil be anointed for signs and for wonders made by human hands. But let that oil be anointed for signs and for wonders. Let that oil speak upon your life as the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen. The Bible says, Thou anoint my head with oil and my cup run it over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life as I do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. You are going to use this oil for seven days. Every morning before you go out, every evening before you go to bed, you are going to anoint yourself, speak positive things, talk yourself to that place. Are you believing God for a job, a miracle, a success, marriage, visa whatsoever? Talk yourself there in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree, you are going to anoint your forehead. As you place it there, speak yourself. Talk yourself to that office. Talk yourself to that position. Talk yourself to that limitation. Talk yourself out from that limitation. Talk yourself. Talk yourself. We are living in a world whereby nothing happens. You speak yourself to where you want to be in the name of Jesus. As you rub it on, on your forehead, morning, evening, pray. Pray. I need my husband. I need my job. I need my visa, my testimony. And watch it come to pass in the next seven days. For in Jesus' mighty name, the loss is a new beginning. And I believe. I believe and I'm waiting to hear your testimony at the comment section for in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody, if you were blessed, drop it at the comment section. It's my new beginning season in the name of Jesus. This is my new season in the name of Jesus. This is my new season in the name of Jesus. May the good Lord richly bless you for in Jesus' name. Please don't hesitate to share this word. Bless your brother, your sister. Someone should also partake on this prayer. It will go a long way for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.